So we've finished our beef and stout uh, stew with our mashed potatoes. The best mashed potatoes ever. Check out the best mashed potato ever video. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's just it's I, I, it's just in the weeks leading up to U.S. Thanksgiving. It seemed that every notification I got from YouTube was so for the best, best mashed potato recipe ever. Well, since we finally have now consumed the, the best, best mashed potato recipe ever with the uh, beef and beer, beef and stout stew, which was very good, um, it's time for the panettone. So finally, pan panettone. Um, this isn't a fail video. This isn't a recipe video. This is a work in progress video. Uh, so it's if you've seen the fail video. Yeah, so this is better. Th well, this is yeah, this is, sort of, this is this is like one level up. This thing not quite yet, not quite ready yet. Not quite ready yet, and I All just right. wanted to talk about the pitfalls of both recipes and panettone recipes. Okay, so it looks like we got two things going so on we got here. Two, one is um, was supposed to be naturally leavened, so with a sourdough. Okay. And one is conventionally leavened, just with yeast that you buy in a jar. Which one would I, would you like to start with? Um, let's start with this one, okay. the natural one. So, should I slice it? Go ahead. Okay. Um, the problems with this are really with me rather than the recipe, I think. And it's one of those things that when you start looking at recipes and you oh, it actually looks pretty good inside. Um, you start looking at recipes and they fail and you say to yourself, oh, that recipe sucked. I'm never making it again because it failed. But then you re if, if you can step back and sort of realize that maybe your technique is wrong or you had wrong expectations or in a lot of cases some recipes will um so you think this one now tell me what you think has failed about this then you, you keep saying they're not quite right what, what's not quite right so actually this one smells pretty good and the crumb is good it's got good it doesn't seem to have me i'd like a little more fruit but. so a little more fruit so well that's that's where it comes so that one has too much fruit Yes. And after I made that one, I said, I cannot knead that much fruit into a panettone. Because you don't have the skill? Because I, ha I don't have the skill to make it happen. Um, I'm not Jake the Baker. So I cut down to make sure that I could get it in. But all of the recipes said, set it aside and let it double in size in an hour. And that's just... It didn't happen? That just does not happen. Now, is that... I mean, let's face it, it's winter. Mm. It's not, you know, 30 degrees in our house. No. The problem lies in the dough. Okay. Uh, and there's there's a couple of different reasons. <clears throat> Everyone worries about salt killing yeast, but equally bad for yeast is sugar and fat. Hmm. So sugar will kill yeast as quickly as salt will. And this is loaded with sugar. So that really... it. It's not going to kill the yeast, but it's really going to slow it down. Okay. So it's going to take a lot longer to rise. Um, this rose, both of these, I put in the pans last night. And they, they were in the pans to rise for about 18 hours. That's a long time. They didn't rise huge. Now, that being said, they didn't rise a lot, but that seems like the right texture. It is, it's, yeah. It's got that um, bread, almost cakey kind of feel that panettone usually has, right? It's, it could be a little sweeter, I think. Did you did you cut out some of the sugar? Because usually we do. No, I didn't. I didn't cut out any of the sugar. I made this re I made this recipe exactly the way it was supposed to be made. Okay. So um, so sweeter, more fruit sweeter. I think more fruit sweeter. Yeah, because it's kind of sparse in the fruit. If I had bought that, I would be kind of sad about the amount of fruit. About the amount of fruit. So let's try. So this th one has a lot of fruit. This one has fruit to the point where you've you know the ones on the outside are, clearly are, are burnt. Um, I could not get it in, and there's there's another problem with this recipe, in that it. It told me to divide between two panettone. Panettone. Panettone? Panettone? Panettone pans? Pans. And um, I got two really small loaves. I should have just put it in one pan. So it's interesting because, again, I think it more is more skill because it doesn't look like there's an overabundance in the middle. Oh, no. It's all on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> so it is, this no, it, is definitely all you. It is all me. No, it's all me. Did you cut me a piece? Mm -hmm. That piece? That's huge. I cut that down a little bit. Not gracefully, but they both have nice texture. Mm -hmm. um, this one definitely has that that little bit of a sourness to it. Yes. Right. The sour. Yep. This one here, uh, which I like. I like that. I like yeah. how it counters. Um, I would eat both of them. Yes, they'd still without both any amazing. problem. I yeah. don't think I would actually pick a favorite. I think they actually are both really good. Yeah. Uh, my my only thing is. Uh, Fruit in the middle. Okay, so 
before I do an actual recipe video for these. You're going to learn how to do this? I'm going to make this probably three or four more times. Yeah. So then we can give you some hints, hopefully, or he'll give you some hints of how to incorporate all the fruit. How to incorporate seems to be our challenge. How to incorporate the fruit, how long it actually takes to rise. Um, and there's probably some tips and tricks in getting it to rise better. But I think we've got good crumb. I think we've got good, mm -hmm. there's good flavor. Um, I think it could use a little bit more something something, but we'll work that, that in. That could just be the fruit, though. It could just be the fruit. Now, <clears throat> is it the same flavoring in the dough in each one? I mean, this one's clearly the sourdough. It has that little bit of a bite to it, but... Um, yes. So, as much as they're different recipes, the same fruits, the same fruit flavors, um, the same flavoring, so the same... Okay. Uh, they both had limoncello in them. They both got... So, it's, it's essentially the same, even though it's using okay. sourdough versus... Um, and I put raisins in, even though... My Italian chef friend said, never put raisins in panettone. Never. Which is really funny because you don't like raisins in so many things. I don't like things. raisins in anything, but I like raisins in this. So I'm going to continue putting raisins in. Because raisins sometimes disguise themselves as chocolate chips. Yes. And you think they're going to be chocolate chips and then the raisins. So they can be disappointing. So come on back. Uh, probably take me a couple of weeks to, to nail this. Hopefully I'll have it mm -hmm. done before you want to make one. Um, we'll see. But, you know, <clears throat> I'd still eat these. Who, who am I kidding? I'd still eat these. We'll be having these probably with a nice toasted, toasted out with some yeah. butter. Yeah, I think so. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.